multi rack Ophelia. Uh, so this is a Mustad C49S curved sedge type hook. So I'll put on the silk, wrap it down. I want a bit of weight here. I'm going to use uh, these are little coarse fishing weights. that kind of thing but they have a, a split up the centre of it. I'll put that on to the back of the hook and wrap it on. Use your nails as lead it'll deform. Now, this is going to be a quick and simple one, so I'm going to use a type of a felting wool. I just bought it because I like the colour of it, I thought it would suit this pattern. Wrap that down to the back of where you want this to be. And I'm going to create like a more progressive taper. So I'm going to wrap my tag end down. I'll take this back up to the front of the body. Now, by tightening up, spinning the wool, tightening it up, I'm going to create a more segmented body appearance. Keep twisting it as you wrap it. All the way. The front of the lead. Tie it forward, fold it back on itself. pheasant tail, take a couple of fibres, strip them off and that will leave little hooks on the end. Those are going to represent the legs. I'll set them on underneath, I want them to be quite short. up onto the top side and wrap the end back to there. I have a little bit of uh, hair's ear here and I've mixed it with a hen's spectra in like a purpley brown colour. Mix the two together. Put on a little wrap. Take another two legs same as before, turn it upside down, lay them in position, put on a couple of wraps, push them forward, and another, bring that up onto the top, a little bit more of the dubbing. set of legs, another two fibres off, set them underneath, on this one's
I take these fibers that I have on top and pull them forward. Tie it in, pull it back on itself. Cut these off nice and tight. Same with that. I'm going to take a bit of my varnish. I'm going to varnish the head. And I'm also going to put a bit of varnish. thorax cover. And there you have it. A simple rack of